Shailene and Sam, so lovely to meet you both. Um, your careers are outstanding. You've played so many different characters over the years. What's it like playing someone who actually exists? Is there an added pressure? Yeah, I would say so. <laughs> I mean, I don't think the pressure comes from them necessarily. I think it's a self-inflicted pressure, but there's an awareness and a mindfulness that what you're doing isn't just simply um, you know, a manifestation of your own creative expression or desire but you really they're gonna eventually see this movie and they're I'll just I'll never forget Tammy's husband after seeing this film was very complimentary of the film and very kind and then he was like yeah there's a few things you said she wouldn't say but and I was like oh no <laughs> I didn't do it um but I think that that's you know it's I think it's natural to be hyper aware yeah I, 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 I do believe that of course there is an, uh, an added pressure um at the same time I feel like when you're when, uh, in my opinion, when you're portraying a, a real person, there should be somewhat, you know, I didn't look identical to him, so therefore right. I have some artistic license to do things slightly different. Yeah. Um, so th I, I feel like there's always, it's always important as an actor to bring a part of yourself into the character, but really, yeah, we were, you know, trying to stay as true to who, you know, the essence of those people yeah. as possible. In this film, Tammy says to Richard, if it's not fun, why do you do it? And his response is, it's a feeling I can't describe. I've heard about days on set where everyone but the director and cinematographer were throwing up because mm. of the seasickness. On those days, were you thinking, what are we doing? And how did you go on? It's a feeling. Uh... <laughs> that you can't describe? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, before that, that particular day, we all, it was the first day at sea. We'd been filming on land for about a month. We all went out, we were taking selfies and celebrating this beautiful morning. You know, the sun came up over the ocean. We were all drinking our coffee, super happy. We go out on the sailboat, and about an hour later, we're all puking. And, um, yeah, I, th I think it was just this moment of, like, shit, is this how the rest of these three months are going to go? This is going to be a long <laughs> film. Um, but, I mean, truthfully, I think, I think we all in it together and I, th I think we all knew that we weren't as uh, uh, prepared as we may ha could have been and I, th I think it just we, we all adjusted our morning routines after that and had less coffee and more food and um, but honestly that, the first day that we set out that was the choppiest the waters ever were so we were um, I think if anyone ever did feel quite weak we had someone else to lift you back up so it wasn't, it wasn't that bad. This it? film opened in the States a couple of weeks ago, and I love that you went with your Big Little Lies co-stars to the cinema to see it. What were cinema goers thinking when you all walked in? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, that was, that was so sweet of them. They all were very insistent on going on the day it opened, which was super kind and, and supportive. And I went with them, and I didn't sit through the movie because I had seen it a few times. <laughs> um, but I went in there with them, and I just, I'll never forget Laura and Zoe and... I don't think it was, I think it was just Laura and Zoe were at the popcorn stand trying to explain to these popcorn guys that they wanted popcorn in like four different separate compartments. They were just, it was just this long, this long conversation. And I was like, if you guys miss the beginning of this movie, you're not going to, none of it's going to make sense. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it was very sweet. It was very sweet of all of them to show up. Sam, you've got a couple of upcoming films where you're working with our own Charlie Murphy. And mm. there's talks of you working with Jamie Dornan. Mm -hmm. What can you tell us, tell us about those? Uh, <laughs> I, I've shot with Charlie, who I adore. She's amazing. Uh, we had very little to do with each other, but um, I'm excited for the film. It's a very sort of small British thriller. Um, so a, a sort of side of me that you wouldn't have seen before. And then similarly, um, Borderland, which is a film that me and Jamie are hopefully going to do at some point, <laughs> um, is is a really, a really again a, di a very different side of me. And I think I think. Um, yeah, I have a lot of films actually coming up that are all different sides of me. Um, I can't so wait yeah, to, it's see, exciting. to see Nightingale. The Nightingale, yeah. The Nightingale. It's a very, very different side of me. <laughs> <laughs> the dark side of me. Uh, well, can't wait to see all of that and Big Little Lies, obviously. But Adrift, everybody check it out. You guys gave an amazing performance. Thank you for it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank Thanks. you so much. Thank Lovely you to meet you.